I'm rolling in on pattern release day, so I'm living in my glam jammas. Um, I feel like now is the time that I can get caught up on. Do you wanna guess? Do you wanna guess at all? If you follow me on IG, you might know that I agreed on a temperature project. What is a year long project? <laughs> I knew that it was gonna be tough when I committed to doing this. Um, I thought it'd be more feasible since I chose for my temperature project to be a temperature dress. I am only going to do the high and low per week. This is not a daily task for me. I can't commit to that. I can hardly commit to this. I'm gonna do high and low per week, and then I'm gonna have a couple colors that separate the weeks and the months within the dress. So I can get more of a flow and being able to bring all the colors in together and it look tasteful. Yeah, I started a little bit, but I'm gonna restart. Let's talk about it, okay? Um, I just couldn't commit to a blanket. I like to start something and see it all the way through and to think that I have like a little bit to do all throughout the year and that I don't get the thing until the end of the year is like, I, I'm not patient enough for that. I'm patient, but I don't think I'm patient enough for that. I think I can do it though. It, it's funny that basically half the year has gone by and I'm going to play mega catch up on this. Okay, so yarn from Lion Brand. Let's talk about the yarn. I'm going to set all this stuff to the side so we can talk about it piece by piece. Okay, I had this yarn like all nice and organized and ready in color order of what I was going to do, but it's not that anymore. I tried to start the project. I was doing reels and stuff and then I wanted to play catch up and fit it in and it never, it just never worked out. Life happened. And remember, we talk about the reality of that here on my vlog. So you just know you're welcome here the way that you are in our, in all of our imperfect ways. Okay. We're all human here. I wanna just talk about the colors first. The yarn that I'm using, okay, you get it, Kobu. Lion Brand Kobu is one of my favorites. This line comes in so many different colors and I'm using most of them, pretty much all of them. I think except one color that they offer. Um, so, or one or two. So uh, the content, it is 51% cotton and 49% rayon. I have also designed with the Kobu, so yes. Um, this color, obviously white. Okay, we're gonna talk about the colors first and then I'm gonna try and talk about what color is gonna be what, oh, mean what. So. I'll set these aside as I go. I have already used some of this white, but like I said, I'm gonna redo all that. Okay, silver. <laughs> Can you guess some of these colors so far? I mean, it makes sense. I have extra silver. I have extra doubles of m most of the colors, not all of them. I might. I don't know if I'm gonna have to re-up, my hair keeps tickling me. I don't know if I'm gonna have to re-up later we'll see but you know since i'm gonna be working up to the halfway point now um i probably can get a good idea of what colors i need to re-up on fortunately lion brand runs pretty good sales throughout so like throughout the year so i could probably snag a bunch extra and there will never be any waste when it comes to this yarn because i will I hope they never take it away. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite fibers, especially for here in Texas. Um, this one's pink, pale pink. Mauve, terracotta, peach. 
<laughs> so great. That's such like a wild color to me. Oh, yellow. It's a good yellow. I mean, a lot of these colors are pastel, but then there's like ones that pop. Ones that pop. This one is magenta. I don't even know if that, okay, it's more like this color. It's hard to say. The lighting and weather is very weird today. It's like swinging all over the place. It was really nice earlier. And then when I came to record, it started acting funny, but it's okay because this is a year long project and I'm going to be showing you a lot of it. Taupe, beige, tan. Oh, that is so light there. None of the blues are here. I have blues. Lichen. Ice blue. It really is icy. Denim. I have tested a dress in this colorway and I made one of my um, not sweaters in this. Steel blue. It's a really good color. The steel definitely is on that. Okay. Uh, lilac. I've used quite a bit of that because the part that I started, it was during when it was cold. And that's one of my cold colors. But let's talk about what colors. So originally I had everything set by like five degrees between 15 degrees to 95 plus. Um, I had everything set for five degrees of what was gonna be a color. But really here in Texas, any, like we get a period of time where it's lower than 30. All mine are in Fahrenheit, by the way. Where um, it's lower than 30. And so I didn't think having, I'd only get like maybe once or twice where I could get like a teen strip in there. And I, I didn't wanna waste all that yarn. I wanna bring in all the colors as much as I can. So I ultimately decided that anything below 30 was going to be the lilac. So, and then, cause I'm going to go from blues to like the bright pink. Um, there are more like pinky color options. So that's kind of why I faded that way. And I really like to organize things by Roy G. Biv. So I'm, I'm going to try and do that. At the time I ordered all these yarns, the olive green was not available. And I swear that color is super popular. So it stays out of stock. So I didn't incorporate that color in here, which it's fine. I feel like there's a good flow with all of this. So 30 to after under 30, I separate everything by five degrees. So I'm, I'm gonna do lilac, steel blue, denim, ice blue, lichen, beige, tan, taupe, yellow, peach, pale pink, pink, mauve, terracotta, magenta. I have this swatch that I made here. This is how it's gonna go, pretty much. I decided to make this swatch so that I could see it, but since then, my friend at Ba Humble, Stacy has come up with this cool temperature project color chart wheel thing. And it's separated by like 10 degrees. So I'm probably gonna be, I might take this swatch apart and add it all on here so that I could see like the flow together. I, I'm fine with having like the two colors that fit in each section on it. I think it'll fit fine. But um, yeah, I'm excited about having this. She has it in wood and in clear. So uh, she has also Celsius and Fahrenheit. So you have options guys, options. I'm really happy to have that tool. Like, this is what I started. It's It's like a little, it's cute, right? Can you get an idea of the dress that I'm gonna make? This is what I'm gonna make. Um, I'm excited about it. And I'm taking this apart because the hook broke. 
And you know, gauge is important when it comes to wearable. And also, I love Susan Bates. So it's just an opportunity to get to flow with it with my Susan Bates hook. And I'm not sure how, because I looked up temperatures. So this pattern includes like the best place to look up temperatures. Um, and I'm obviously gonna have to do that to catch up because I have been not been documenting the temperature every single day. And I, I think I'm, I'm gonna have to get an average. So I took like the daily temperatures to start off this, I took like daily temperatures of a high and a low, and then I was was gonna average it out by the week to see what my average high and my average low was. But for some reason, I feel like I was getting different temperatures than what it suggested for average high and average low for the week. So I don't know if I'm gonna do it this way where I look up every single day and do it myself or if I'm just gonna go based off of what it is they say because every time I put in like the location, pinpoint where I am exactly, it wants to change it to like the nearest big place. Not that that's a, a bad thing because it's kind of similar, um, but I really just want whatever is gonna be the biggest swing to get the craziest colors. That's as far as I got it's like in February for this. So I think the journey is ready to happen now. Now I'm gonna frog this. <laughs> Yay, I am so glad that I finally get to start this and finally share it with y'all. Let's go. I have already frogged one stripe. So really, let the frogging continue. Um, I think it's going to be cool. And it'll be even better because I use one hook during the whole time. And there's no chance I'm going to, there's no chance I'm going to break this hook. And even if I do, I can order a new one and it's more likely to be like spot on. The other one I was using was a, um which if you watch my pre previous videos, it was a Knit Brooks hook and those are handmade. So it, I mean, even with these machine made ones, I have seen other people say that the hooks aren't always similar in gauge. Pops is mowing right now. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, well. I also wanted to show y'all how cute did the color wheel come out? It's so cute. I actually love it even more with my ramen noodley yarn. It's gonna make like a really perfect, like a really perfect thing to look at for a flat lay. Like I think it's gonna go over my project and look really good. All right, I'll be, I'll show y'all on my balls when I'm done frogging. No filter. Um, I get dolled up occasionally, you guys, but it is what it is. I am who I am. Anyway, I spent a lot of time the other day. I've lost track of days at this point, but um, I need to get started on this project not just preparing for it. So I spent a lot of time on working up the highs and the lows for each month. So January, February, March, April, May. And this is just like the um, yarn names along with what temperatures that I'm associating it to. So, um, Obviously, I ended here and then I have to continue on for May, but I've decided that I'm going to do monthly videos um, because I am going to get, my stripes are going to be the high, the average high and low from each week. 
So with January, I'll have one, two, three, four weeks there. This will just have to carry over. Well, I might, yeah, this will just have to carry over into the February. February is high and low. So then I will separate that each week with uh, silver and then each month will be separated with white. Um, so I went ahead and wrote the high and low for each day and then figured out the average on my own by adding all each temperature and then dividing by the amount of each. So like most of them are like seven days. Um, the start of this one uh, has eight days. So this one was eight. And so that's how I got those figures. So I'm going to go ahead and finally get started on January. Oh, let me also say how I'm going to be dissecting this journey. I'm going to be posting once a month till, till I catch up. So you'll get like the January colors, then February, March, April, May. <laughs> Um, and then like, I'm going to do weekly possibly. No, I'll be doing weekly on TikTok. But, um, once I get caught up, I'm thinking about doing daily on TikTok till I get caught up and then weekly. Weekly. <laughs>